Hi you guys, uh, this is Miss Jess from the Monroe Street Art Center um, and I just wanted to make a video today uh, for some project ideas for the art kits that some of you ordered. Um, we're going to do a few rounds of art kits. One of them was already sent out. It included a bunch of different crafting items like model magic, construction paper, googly eyes, pipe cleaners, etc. Um, we're going to be sending out our next art kit on Monday. So order one now if you're interested in kind of following along and having something to work on and something to do together while you're at home. Um, today I'm specifically going to use just a few art supplies out of my art kit and I mostly want to focus on model magic. Um, so take a look in your art kit and grab out a few things today. We're going to use model magic, uh, pipe cleaner if you have one of those, um, grab your googly eyes, I grabbed my green piece of construction paper and then something else, oh your glue stick, and then something else that's not in your kit but that you could use for the project I'm going to show you is just a recycled piece of cardboard. Uh, this is literally one that uh, came off of a box of an art supply that I ordered. I'm just going to flip it over and use the side that doesn't have anything printed on it already. Um, so if you want to go ahead and find those things, you can pause the video and then join me once you have them. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Um, I want to talk about model magic for a little bit first before I show you guys exactly what project we're going to do today. Um, model magic, I'm going to go ahead and actually cut the top off. They're a little tricky to open sometimes. Model magic is like a really super fun, awesome version of Play-Doh kind of. Um, when you first open it, this particular package that you guys received in your art kits is white. Um, kind of my favorite model magic to get because you can change it any color you want to. There are packs that you can buy that are already colored and they are super fun to use too, um, but I find that this one's the most versatile so I order this one a lot. Um, when you first open up your package, you're going to want to use your hands to sort of squeeze it, soften it up. The more that you play with it in your hands, and especially the warmest part of your hands, like your palms, um, the softer it's going to get and the easier it's going to get to work with. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm rolling my hands back and forth. I'm squishing it. Switch it back and forth between my hands. It's a good workout. Okay. Um, I'll show you here too. As you warm it up, it gets really stretchy. So you can just have fun, just play with it for a little bit. It gets super stretchy. And then it all comes back together, okay? Um, the interesting thing about Model Magic is that it stays soft and moldable as long as it's um, covered up or in sort of an airtight container. Um, if you leave Model Magic out for a few hours, it's actually going to start to harden a little bit. It sort of reminds me of like a hard, like a stale marshmallow <laughs> once it sets up. Um, so that's something to think about. Um, since I love white Model Magic so much, I only use a little bit at a time. That way I can save a bunch extra in case I want to make something else. So if that's the case, if you just want to take a chunk off for now and save your rest for kind of another project later, it's not a bad idea. Um, I might even just tuck mine back into the wrapper that it originally originally came in. You can put wrap a piece of tape around it if you want to and that's a good way to kind of keep it for later if you want to. Um, so now I'm going to use this piece and today's project is actually going to be super easy. Anyone could do this. Um, I'm going to make a snake in kind of a garden setting. Uh, so you see on my cardboard I'm just going to use markers today. You guys can use anything that you want to from home if you have paints, um, markers, colored pencils, crayons, anything will sort of work to sort of cover this surface. Um, so now with my Model Magic, it's nice and soft, it's ready to go. Um, to add color to it, I'm actually gonna start by rolling a circle or a ball, right? And then squishing it flat like a pancake. Um, I want my snake to be some kind of color of turquoise or green or blue maybe. So using the markers I have here, and these are just Crayola markers, washable markers, uh, pretty much any kind of markers you have uh, will work just fine. The juicier your markers, the better. So if you've got really old dried out markers, they might um, not give as much pigment. Something to think about. Um, so I've got my pancake in my hand. I'm starting out with one of my, this is a graphic green color. Uh, and I'm just coloring right on my Model Magic. Back and forth like this, right? It's kind of a good idea to do this in your hand with a flat pancake. Sometimes if you put it on your table and you start pounding into it, it may or may not stick to the table and then you kind of have to peel it off with your fingernails. Okay, so I've got this side covered. I think I'm ready to start mixing it. So before that, I'm gonna put my cap on, click so you know that it's done. 
and then you can start to mix up your model magic. A few ways to do this. Um, you can stretch it out kind of like I was just doing. Stretch it and stick it back together. You can just roll it around in your hands and then you can kind of see it's starting to change. I don't know if you can see from there. Ooh, it's starting to change color. It's turning a kind of a minty green shade. Mix it all up. So this is super fun for color mixing. Um, it just feels really fun to squish and you can mix and match different colors and maybe come up with your own very brand new color. Okay. I think I want it to be a little bit darker than this actually. It's still looking pretty light. So I'm gonna roll it back into a circle, squish it like a pancake, and then do it again. I'm gonna pick out, I think this time I'm gonna add a little bit of green to it. Get my cap off. Totally color it. Right, looks good. Maybe if I want to, I could fold it in half and even do it again. Okay, caps on. And I'm going really quickly just to kind of keep the project moving along, but you guys can feel free to pause the video and sort of have fun with this step, play with it for a while. Don't feel like you need to rush through it to get done with the project or anything. Um, this could entertain me for a very long time. So feel free to just play with your model magic for a while before we actually make something out of it. Um, all right, so let's say, I think I actually like this color. I've got kind of a nice lime green happening here. Um, to make my snake now, very easy. If I roll, I keep my hands nice and flat. And if I roll them together like this on my clay, it's gonna turn my clay into a long snake-like shape or like a worm, right? Ha ha ha. Now the snake, I'm gonna try to kind of make one of the ends of this long worm shape a little bit more circular because that's gonna be his head, right? Maybe make his tail a little skinnier. All right, um, so here's a cool trick. I think I've got my snake shape. I'm actually gonna take a pair of scissors and if I cut this little head shape in half, it's gonna make him look like his mouth is open. Ha ha, now he's got an open mouth. Um, I'm just gonna set him right here. I think you guys can still see on my cardboard. Oh, he's hanging out in his garden. Uh, you don't always have to mix your colors in with Model Magic. You can kind of add details to the surface without having to mix. So maybe something I want to do now is take a different color and I'll go down the back of my snake. Snakes have really cool patterns on them. Right? They're all different. Some snakes are super friendly and harmless. Other snakes are super dangerous. Don't know what kind of snake you want to make today. Maybe the very end of his tail is going to be blue. Okay. All right. So a couple other details that I want to add to my snake. You guys probably received some googly eyes in your art kit. Um, these googly eyes are actually stickers, so they're super easy to use. You kind of have to peel them off the back just like that. And then the side that you peeled off is really sticky. So if I'm going to add eyeballs to my snake, I'm just going to stick one on this side, kind of squish it, make sure it's stuck. And then I'll peel another one off. Hey, a little bit tricky. There we go. And I'll put the other eye on the other side. That's pretty darn cute. Little snake. Um, with your pipe cleaner, if you want your snake to have a tongue, um, you can just use a tiny little bit of your pipe cleaner, save the rest for something else. If I just cut the very end off with my scissors, just be careful, right? Now my snake will have a tongue. And with my model magic, I'll just poke it right into his mouth. Yes. Um, something else I might want to do, I can kind of think about my garden now that I've made my snake. Um, with that extra model magic, I could make another snake for him. I could make snake food. I could make other bugs or maybe other creatures that are living in the garden, maybe a turtle or a butterfly or something. Um, I'm gonna use some other 3D stuff though to add to my garden. Um, you guys probably got a sheet of green construction paper in your art kit. Um, something I'm gonna do is show you how to make grass and add it to your little landscape here. Um, I actually think the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this paper in half and it doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe one way to sort of make it a little easier on myself if I fold the paper in half and crease it, it's gonna give me a perfect line to follow when I cut it out. So take my scissors, let's cut it right down the middle, the long way. Ta-da. 
Uh, now, if I take my scissors, I'm actually gonna give this kind of like a fringe. So I'm just gonna make little snips. I don't know if you guys, what's this way? Like this, fringe all the way up. I'm not cutting all the way through because I don't wanna cut my paper in half, but I just wanna give it all these little sort of slices to make it look like blades of grass, right? All the way up, great. I can kind of crinkle it up with my fingers if I want to, make it look kind of realistic. Grass isn't perfectly sticking straight up, right? Ta-da. Uh, if I want this grass to sort of pop up off of my background, I'm gonna take my paper and fold just this bottom edge here in half. So I fold it, crease it, crease it, right? So it's got this kind of little tab now. Uh, that's the only spot that I'm gonna put glue and then I'll stick it on my cardboard. So glue stick that you found in your art kit is one of my favorite kinds of glue sticks. It's super duper sticky and awesome. Pull the cap off the top. You can twist it up if you need to. And then I'm gonna put glue just on that very edge here, back and forth. I always make sound effects when I do art. <laughs> so nice and sticky, nice and shiny. And then I think this is gonna go right behind my snake. And I just sort of flatten out that sticky part with my fingers, fix it up if I need to, right? There's no right or wrong way, but now I've got some snake grass, okay? Um, you guys can totally get carried away from here. Whatever else you wanna make. You do have other pieces of construction paper. There's in a, a few different kinds of stickers in every art kit. Um, these stickers I noticed do kind of remind me of a garden, so maybe I wanna peel these off and add them to my garden too. Flowers on them, right? Um, so this is just one of many options that you guys can use your model magic for. Um, you have seen people make rainbows, other animals. You can just squish it around and play with it forever and it will stay nice as long as you keep it in that wrapper. Um, so anyways, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Um, if you watch this video today and decide to make something this afternoon, please share it with us. I'm so excited to see the creativity that will come out of this. Because again, this is just one idea. You guys are super creative and I can't wait to see what you make. Uh, all right, have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.